Yuito, I need to talk to you. Now what? No. I don't want anyone else to hear. We're going to Musubi's. Come on. Hey, wait. I didn't agree. Oh, oh man. I can't take this guy. So, what do you want? We had an argument last time. Yeah, I remember. You don't want to pick up where we left off, do you? I've had enough of that. No, I don't. I was too emotional before, so... I'm sorry. Wait, what did you just say? I said I'm sorry. What's strange about that? I know when I've gone too far. Yeah... I, uh, said things I didn't mean to, but I didn't expect you to just apologize. I called you a pampered little boy, but when I thought of your circumstances, I realized I was wrong. You lost both your parents, then almost lost your memory. You've had plenty of your own hardships. Well, when you say it like that, did I really have it that hard? Will you accept my apology? Yeah, I accept. Just to be clear, I'm only apologizing for what I was wrong about. It's true that you're a dimwit, so I won't apologize for that. Can't he be a little nicer? I guess that's just his personality. Speaking of hardships, you said you were a dud. Do you actually know what that means? Huh? It means someone born without powers. Do you really understand that? You say it like it doesn't affect you. They have it harder than even civilians. They're powerless. Well, it's kind of unclear. Wait, are you worried about me? No, I just... I can't understand how you could say that so lightly. No matter what the official stance is, people without powers are discriminated against. It doesn't matter if you're a Sumeragi or not. No matter how much they flatter you to your face, they're laughing at you in their heads. I don't think I could handle that. I know that people won't look at me the same, but it won't change who I am. There are people who see me for me, not as a psionic or as a Sumeragi. I can't tell if you're tough or just stupid. You've had so many bad experiences, but you look so self-assured. When I see you, it makes me think I can't whine about my little problems. I'll take that as a compliment. I'm surprised you want to whine sometimes. It's not that I want to whine. There are things I'm not pleased about. I've worked so hard, but my real ability still isn't appreciated in the OSF. It's irritating. Oh yeah. I think I know what it feels like to not be appreciated too. People don't see how hard I work because I'm a Sumeragi. Just like you. Huh. <laughs> way to be insulting without trying. I'll give you some advice. If you feel like you're not being appreciated, then get so strong that people have to appreciate you. That's the only way. It's what I worked so long for, and what I'll keep working for. Wow. You can be unexpectedly passionate. Unexpectedly? Why is it unexpected? I just always thought you were the cool guy. I didn't think we'd have anything in common. S stop it! We don't have anything in common. I'm not a pampered boy like you! Yeah, yeah, we're not alike at all. I mean, I'm not rude like you. What? If you had been nicer about your advice before... Oh, that's right. I haven't thanked you yet. I had trouble listening, but once I put the insults aside, I realized it was pretty good advice. Thanks. Of course it was. I'm always studying battles to get better than I am now. Yeah, I think that's amazing. Will you give me more advice sometime? Sure. But I won't be so nice next time, so don't cry about it. <laughs> I'll be ready. I'm counting on you. Stop furrowing your brow the moment you look at someone. I could say the same to you. That makes two of us, then. It makes me angry that we're alike. But I guess you could say I'm rubbing off on you. You should keep climbing to get on my level.
My first impression of you was the worst. But now, I'm willing to say you're the second to worst. Are you trying to be nice? I guess I'm grateful that I'm better now. She hasn't mentioned the Force Break program to me once since then. I wonder why she wanted to make it in the first place. She said it was to help people like me rest. She also said I was just like someone... I know! I'll call that person up! She isn't going to like this. But if it helps get the issue out... Hey, Arashi! Remember how you told me that I was like Major General Fubuki? I can't believe you remember that. Yeah, you two are alike. Especially how earnest and naive you are. You told me to rest and relax because being too earnest wasn't good. But I think those words and the Force Break program were meant for him. That's an interesting idea. What makes you think that? There's a lot of reasons. But I guess seeing him work until he collapsed sealed the deal. Whenever I see him, I do think he really needs someone to force him to rest. If that's the case, I think you should be telling all of this to him instead of me. Even if you're right, that sounds like a pain. I thought you'd say that. I'm sorry for doing this behind your back. But I invited Major General Fubuki here. He should arrive any minute now. What? I received a message from Yuito. He said you wanted to talk to me, Arashi? Fubuki! I had no idea you were so nosy, Yuito. You're the one who started this by trying to force me to rest, so consider this payback. I can't believe you. Arashi, Yuito, what's going on? Sorry, Fubuki, but I don't really have anything to talk to you about. Arashi, come on. I mean, there's a lot of things I could say. However, I know it's wrong to push my own values on you. I won't criticize or deny the way you live just because we think differently. I suppose I was conceited to think that I was always right. I'm surprised to hear you say that. Really? It's the conclusion I drew from my latest experiment. Experiment? Yeah, it was pretty enjoyable. It's all thanks to the wonderful test subject I had. <laughs> In other words, you just have to follow your gut. Or is she? Or is she? Just don't push yourself too hard. I can't support you if you collapse. Like, physically. I know. Thank you. Hmm. Sorry. Maybe I did stick my nose where it didn't belong. That's alright. That was surprisingly cathartic. I've been avoiding that conversation because I thought it was too much of a pain. Seems like I had a lot I kept bottled up inside. I feel a bit better now. Really? That's good. So here's a token of my appreciation. Take it. Appreciation? <laughs> my vision! It's the light version of the break program. It starts spinning your vision so you'll... I'm getting dizzy. Yes, that was awesome! How's that for relaxing, Yuito? You're actually pissed, aren't you? Looks like you're working hard. I don't think it's a good idea to work too hard, though. <laughs> you're one to talk. You don't care enough about slacking off. It's not a bad thing. When you know your own strength and rest when you need it, you'll be a better soldier. Work on that. There's a lot of people who will be sad if you fall. I'm one of them. You have potential. However, you should not overdo it. Thanks. Yeah, I'll be careful.
I didn't really talk to Kasane about the fact that the person who raised her was my mother. Hey, Kasane. Do you have a minute? Sure. What is it? I wanted to talk to you about my mother. I thought you may want to as well. Yes. Will you come with me to Mizuhagawa? Uh, why? I thought it would be best to talk some more private. I also want to get some combat in. So you want to get some field training? Great. I'll make lunch then. We'll probably get hungry. This isn't a picnic. <sighs> Fine. Good. Then we'll leave in an hour. We don't get to do this too often, so I'll make the best lunch that I can. <sighs> Looks like we took care of most of the others around here. Let's take a break. Here's your lunch. Oh. She's not saying anything. Maybe she doesn't like some of the vegetables. Or maybe I tried too hard? I was going to make something simpler, but I got carried away. Is it too much? It's fine. It tastes fine, too. <laughs> Thanks. So, let's talk while we eat. I was surprised that you called my mom mother. You're the one that called my mother mom. That's the same... No, wait. I guess she raised you first. Mother raised me when she was in Togetsu. Then she had you and your brother in Suo. That means you're like my big sister then. Wait a minute. Why am I your big sister? You were raised first, so that means you're older than me. Oh, I guess you're right. I hadn't thought about it that much. She is rather indifferent sometimes. Well... <laughs> We really don't pay attention to actual age in the OSF. I don't have memories from when Mother went away until I was adopted by the Randalls. That's when my brother and I were born, so it must have been about ten years. Were you in cryogenic sleep or something? That's most likely the case. All I remember is losing my mother, and how painful it was. Oh, right. But I was born because she left Togetsu. So that's a good thing for me, at least. Right. Oh, sorry. That was a little insensitive. No. It's true that if Mother had stayed in Togetsu, you wouldn't have been born. So, I guess I should call you Big Sister now? Stop it. The only Big Sister I know is Naomi. It doesn't suit me. Okay, I won't say it anymore. That was quite the feast. Not too bad, if I do say so myself. Yes, it was good, thanks. How do you feel about seeing Mother? It was necessary in order to save the world. But in truth, I was really happy to see her. Me too. The moment I saw her face, it was like I was a child again. It was really strange. Neither of us had seen her since we were young. There's just so much I want to tell her about. So do I. I wonder if we'll have the time, though. That's hard to say. Did you ask her how long she can stay in this time? No, I haven't had the chance. I hope she'll stay forever. Yeah. But as much as I want her to, I know in my heart that she won't be with us that long. You're right. But we can't just spend all of our time being sad about it. Sorry for being a downer. I wasn't accusing you of anything. I just don't want to think that not seeing her is the end of the relationship. Even if we can't be together, it doesn't mean we'll forget the people who loved us. I was just a kid, but I remember being so happy when I was with my mom. As long as we have those memories, no matter how much time passes, we're all still connected. I like that way of thinking. Even without the red strings, our hearts are connected over time. Yes. Though it sounds rather trite when you put it into words. <laughs> really? I don't think it does. I will say the ability to time travel has really messed with us. But I am very thankful that it allowed me to see my mom again. Yes. I have more good memories now. Promise not to laugh, but... 
When I actually saw her again and heard her voice, I felt a lump in my throat and almost started to cry. I actually did cry a little, though. Why would I laugh at you for that? I felt the same way. I guess we've gotten a little too comfortable here. This is perfect. Let's get a workout in before we head back. Okay. Let's take care of this together. Stay on guard. It might not be just them. Connect with SAS and don't forget your surroundings. She said it doesn't suit her, but she is like a big sister sometimes. What? You look like you want to say something. No, oh, it's nothing. Let's go. Oh, Yuito. I wanted to talk to you. Sure, what is it? I just wanted to thank you. It's strange, but whenever I talk to you, I feel relieved. It's kind of like you're to me what Baki is to you. I wonder if I understand your feelings better. Communicating with someone is difficult. Yeah, it's not like I'm good at it either, but I get what you're saying. Hey, Kagro. If you, uh, have some time, what do you say we go get coffee? Oh. Well, I've never been asked by a guy before. And it's Yuito, of all people. <laughs> is it that unexpected? Of course it is. After all, I am the one who killed your father. I've said a lot of things to you and dragged you around, but I thought you'd still have something against me. I still have mixed feelings about you, and... You're right. I can't just forgive what you did. Yeah, I figured. But that's why I want to know who you are, and what you're thinking. And it was a nice break going to town with you. Huh. If that's how it is, how about we do something less boring than just coffee? Less boring? Hey, where are you taking me? I could tell you now, but that would spoil the surprise. You said something less boring, but this place is pretty deserted. <laughs> you probably shouldn't believe everything someone like me says. I was lying. Okay. Why did you bring me here? Well, you did say you wanted to understand me. I chose this place because I don't think anyone will bother us here. Don't hesitate to ask me whatever you want. You have the right to do so. Well... I do have something I've been wanting to ask you. You said you wanted to stop Togetsu for your family, right? Yeah. Everything I've worked for up till now was to stop Togetsu's plans. To protect the existence of my family. Of my daughter. For 2,000 years, that's all I lived for. Well, I told you most of that already. Yeah. I understood that. And I don't doubt it at all. But there is still something I just don't understand. What's that? You already stopped Togetsu. You finally reached your goal. So what's wrong? Why do you still look so unsatisfied? Oh? <laughs> That's pretty sharp. You know, you're something, kid. Very innocent. Maybe too innocent. What? You're not still hiding something, are you? Well... Everything I've told you up till now was definitely true. But if there is something, I guess it's that I'm burned out. You're burned out? 
What do you mean? It's been 2,000 years. My family, the world I know, they're all far in the past. I have nothing now. I don't feel anything. I'm totally empty inside. I achieved the only goal I had. Now I'm just remaining in this world with no real meaning. Kind of like a ghost. I know what it feels like to lose your family. I lost mine too. But how can you talk like that? You're the one who murdered my father. You're telling me that the person who killed my family is a burned out coward? I'm sorry if it makes you mad, but that's how I feel. You're the one who wanted to know. So, do you want to kill me now? No, I don't. Thank you for being honest with me. I'll talk to you anytime. You beat the crap out of me in a one-on-one -on -one fight. Okay then, that's enough serious talk. Time to head out to town. Wait, what? That was a quick turnaround. I can't believe you want to go out now. I told you I'd take you somewhere less boring, didn't I? You need to pay attention. Um, you just told me not to believe what someone like you says. All right, today I'll show you how real men have fun in Suo. This is gonna be fantastic. He said fun was escaping reality, but I think he might be enjoying himself just a little too much. Yuito, are you tired? Are you making sure to use Baki to make you feel better? <laughs> yes, Baki gives me all the energy I need. Yeah, you're really weird. I guess this is what it means to have a good upbringing. Well, if Baki makes you feel better, then I'll be sure to buy any Baki merchandise I come across. I think we make a pretty good team. Hmm, I guess so. Yuito, do you have a minute? There's something I have to tell you. What's the matter? Let's go to Misubi's. I'll tell you everything there. About things I've been hiding from you. What was it that you were hiding from me? I couldn't tell you before, because I was scared of what you'd think of me. A long time ago. Togetsu ordered me to monitor your mother, Wakana Sumeragi. My mom? Yes. Right after she escaped from Togetsu, they sent me into Suo. I spied on her and reported everything to them. Her movements, her life, and her family. I see. That's why you knew about my childhood. I'm sorry for not telling you sooner. No, I'm glad you told me. I'm surprised, but... I'm sure you didn't have a choice. Thank you. I don't know if this can make up for it, but I'll answer anything you want to know. Hmm. Let's see. Okay. I'm a little embarrassed to ask this. What is it? Could you tell me more about my mom? We didn't have time to really sit down and have a conversation when she came back. Yes, of course. Where should I start? From that romantic day your parents met? No, you don't need to go that far. How about from the time I was born? Let's see. You had to be kept in the hospital for a while, but you were such a cute baby. Your mother was always by your side, watching over you. <sighs> While you and your brother grew, I think your mother always sensed Togetsu in the shadows. Still, she continued basking you in love. Never showing any sign of fear or worry. She was an incredible person. Do you think you were watching over us like my mom did? Huh? Just... The way you were talking about it made it sound like you kept a watchful eye on us. I'm sorry if I was wrong. Hmm. You're right. I may have gotten a little attached. I mean, 
I've been watching your family for years. I still wish Wakana could have lived like that forever. <sighs> However, I couldn't even imagine going against Togetsu at the time. All I could do was watch. You don't need to feel responsible for that. You're not like that anymore. Hearing you say that makes me feel like I can forgive myself a little. Thank you. Well, thank you for telling me stories about my mom. Can I hear more sometime? Yes, anytime you'd like. I have lots I want to share as well. Like the first time you walked, or when your diaper... Hey, we don't need to go over anything like that. Do you have tons of embarrassing stories about me or something? Just the person I wanted to see. Your lucky color for the day is red, and your lucky direction is south. Um, thanks for that. So, what should I do specifically? Eat red food and deploy south, probably. Should I make something for you? Oh, um, no thanks. I appreciate the thought. You can talk to me about anything. Romantic issues, or dreams you had last night. Okay. I don't have anything right now, but you can come talk to me anytime you want to. Okay, that is gonna be it for the Bond episodes for Phase 10 Standby. Thank you guys for watching, like, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Hello and welcome to part 12 of Skull Nexus. I hope you guys all enjoy. I'm sorry I made you all worry. Are you alright? I'm fine, and we have to hurry back to the Kunad Gate. We're going back there again? Do you know what we can do about it, Mother? Yes. We must get rid of the entanglements in the Kunad Gate, or the world will eventually be destroyed. Entanglements? What are they? We should head to the Kunad Gate before I explain it further. Okay. Then we'll go to the Kunad Highway. Everyone get ready. Mom, you can have a seat here. Thank you. You got so big. Huh? <laughs> that was sudden. You joined the OSF. How's Kaito? Are you getting along with your older brother? He's good. We don't really get along anymore. Oh. Can you tell me what's happening in your time, in the present?
and that's basically it. The only other thing is the existence of the Kunad Gate. Thank you. Along with Babe's data, I think I understand a lot now. Are we almost ready to leave? Oh, yeah. We are. Uh, Mom? You're just like your father. Huh? No. Kaito is the one who looks like Dad. Actually, people tell me I'm not much like him. I'm not talking about your face. It's how you act. Yuito, about your father... I'm sorry I didn't tell you what he was doing. He did awful things, but it was him that saved me from Togetsu. He was kind. Oh. Kaito said he would change this country, too. He's wanted to be a politician ever since he was little. But I guess he could only take your father's path as well. Kaito did, but I... It's all right. You and Kaito are your father's and my children. I know you'll make up someday. Right. Things are moving fast, but I'm hoping you can tell us how to deal with the Kunad Gate. You said something about entanglements? Ultimately, Yuito and Kasane have to enter the Kunad Gate and unravel the entanglements. What I'm telling you here is just a concept. The traces interfering with time should look like tangled red threads. According to Togetsu's theory, whenever you jump through time, a dimensional hole like the Kunad Gate is created, but it should then disappear. The reason this hasn't disappeared is because Yuito and Kasane's powers resonated. The Kunad Gate is different from the theorized gates in that it's persisting in a distorted state. Using a distorted gate for a time jump creates entanglements. If you can unravel those entanglements, you can close the Kunat Gate. Distorted? I don't really get it yet. But when you say, enter the Kunat Gate, do you mean go into that hole in the sky? That strange space. Is it inside the Kunat Gate? You saw it too, when the gate first opened. Oh, that place with all the weird images? That's right. That strange space that Kasane mentioned exists inside the Kunad Gate. It is a concept of space that only exists for those with the Red String's power. Togetsu called it the Kronos Terminal. Perhaps it's a kind of station, or junction point, for traveling through time. Hmm. So only Yuito and Kasane can perceive it. I guess that explains why we didn't notice it when we jumped to the future. When there is time contact between 2020, when the gate was made, and another time, entanglements are created. Time contact? Is that any different from time travel? It's a broader definition of time travel. Even if you don't arrive at that time, even if you just attempt. Basically, if someone with the Red String's power even touches that time, there is a trace. That is time contact. The only way to actually see which times have entanglements is for the two of you to go and check for yourselves. So I guess the only thing we can do is leave it to Yuito and Kasane. Even if we find the entanglements, we won't know how to unravel them until we see them. The Kronos Terminal is conceptualized by your powers, so you'll know how to unravel them. Not with reason, but with intuition. Also, I'm weak, but I can use the red strings, so I'll support you from here. Okay, so we just need to use the red strings again and enter the Kronos Terminal. I'm going with you this time. You don't know what kind of dangers will be there. Make sure you're ready before you go. If it gets dangerous, you both come right back. Don't worry, we will. Just take care of my mother. 
Keep her safe. It's all right. Don't worry. We will protect Wakana. All right. We don't have much time. Let me know when you're ready. Mom. I saw you again after all these years, but we haven't really talked. I get that the situation won't allow it, but... Good to go, Kasane? I'm ready. Focus your consciousness together. Picture the site of the Kronos Terminal. To the Kronos Terminal. We will unravel those entanglements. It looks like we actually made it. Are each of those images connected to different times? We can't just stand around. We have to search for the entanglements. <laughs> I guess it's nothing new when it's your third time. So, how do we find them? I don't feel anything yet. This is... It must be Mother. Is she guiding us? Let's go! Others? How are they inside the Kronos Terminal? Calm down. That place is built from your consciousness. It's an imaginary world. It is a very unstable place. Your fear and anxiety, all of your emotions affected. The memories of your past made others appear. So basically, you're saying that these others were created by our mental immaturity. <laughs> that makes us sound pretty lame. But if we made them, we can take them down, too. I know the two of you can handle it, but be careful. So if our consciousness has made it, is this other an illusion? It sure looks real. As long as your brain thinks so, it's the same as it was. We have to fight it. Yeah, 
it's like my head is buzzing. It's weird. This is the old OSF hospital on that day in 2009. It's an entanglement. Yeah. I don't understand it, but I can feel it. This is definitely it. If we want to successfully unravel this, then I'm betting that we have to use the red strings, our power. Yes. I feel it too. We should be able to make this work. Ah, another one! Let's hold it off while we unravel the entanglement. Alright. I know we can do it. Don't let me right, Huey Yeah, right. Let's go. Use it well. Double the power! I can do this. Keep it up. I'm using this, Kagero! Yeah! Don't look! Keep it clean. I can hit it! This will make the Kunad Gate disappear. Hey, Kasane. That day, I never got the chance to thank you properly. So, thank you for saving me. What? That came out of nowhere. You were the one that saved me 11 years ago at the hospital, right? I remember it perfectly now. I used to be a dud, and then all of a sudden I had powers. My power awakening? I think it was because you shared yours with me. What? Powers aren't something you can just share. Yeah, I know what I'm saying sounds silly, but if it were possible, it was thanks to meeting you that day that I'm still alive and have reached my goal of getting into the OSF. That's what I think, so... Thanks for saving me. You're welcome. Is that what I'm supposed to say? <laughs> you look totally confused. But that's okay. I think it's unraveled now. Everyone is probably worried about us. Mother's power. I can still feel it. So, there's more than one entanglement? If so, it's simple. We just have to unravel all of them. Right. Okay, let's go. <laughs> we did unravel that entanglement, right? I think so, but something still feels off. So you feel it too. Something's bothering me.
I think that's all of them. Have you ever thought of what you'd do if you could change history? You mean by traveling to the past? That would just create new entanglements though, wouldn't it? I mean, after the Kunat Gate is gone. If you could use the Red Strings freely. Well, yeah. I mean, sure, I've thought about it. If I had done this or hadn't done that, something would have changed. All those regrets are still there. When Nagi asked, what should I have done differently, I just couldn't come up with an answer. So, do you want to use the red strings to change the past? Mm. No, I don't. Because even if you change the past, you won't know how it will affect the future. Nagi might not have gotten caught up in all of this if he wasn't my friend. If he hadn't joined the OSF, if he didn't admire them, if I mess with the past that much and just overwrite his life, is that really saving him? And it's not just Nagi. If you change the past, it would affect the lives of everyone in the world. It's not something that one person can burden themselves with. I don't think it's right to only care about what you wish. There's a lot that I still can't accept. But it's not something that I can just ignore as if it didn't happen. I know it was a silly question. I'm actually surprised. Or maybe I'm just relieved. Because now I know I'm not the only one having these thoughts. Oh. Before, I would have answered differently. But now that I've met everyone, the way I see the world has changed. Yeah, I know what you mean. It's the same for me. You know... We actually have a lot in common. I think it's a little early to say that. This is Mom's... There's still an entanglement? But all the time periods we traveled to... No. Now's not the time to think about it. Can you keep going? I'll be okay. I'm probably just a little tired from using my brain too much. We should hurry. We traveled to those two times, right? Yes, I think those are the only ones. crest that's it this is the image i saw at the start right yakima sumeragi's crest it seems like a time entanglement appeared then <laughs> Major General Karin! So they're going to keep coming. We need to unravel the entanglement. I can still fight! You're free to use it! Use it 
Okay, that should... <sighs> Yuito? This is bad. I don't think I can take much more either. So... Did we do it? That should be all of them, right? Probably. But something doesn't feel right. Karin and Yakumo Sumeragi... What happened to them? <sighs> Damn it. I'm blacking... Yuito... Kasane! Mom? Mother. Where am I? Oh good, you're awake. It seems like we made it back... 
What's going on? The Kunad Gate... Why hasn't it disappeared? Well... Good job, you two. It's all okay now. What? But... Mother, we unraveled the entanglements. So why? <sighs> Leave the rest to me. W what? Thank you for growing up so strong. You've made a lot of wonderful friends. Those connections are much more valuable than any red string. Treasure them for the rest of your life. M mother <sighs> Mom. You can't go back to the past. If you go back, Tokatsu will. It has to be done. Forgive me. The longer I remain here, the more painful it will be. <laughs> no, hold on! There's still so much that I need to say! Mother! <laughs> Yuito! Kasane, live on. Knowing you're happy is all that I could ask for. So today is the day. I may give you my brain. But you can't have my memories of the future. Kaito. Yuito. Kasane. The body has been confirmed as the target, Wakana. Current theory for cause of death is cerebral overload due to a malfunction in the personality rehabilitation device. We believe an irreversible memory wipe was conducted. There is significant damage to the memory regions in her brain. Following protocol and retrieving her brain. I see. There was an entanglement from when Mom time-traveled. Mother. She explained it to us earlier when the two of you were gone. The Kunad Gate wouldn't disappear as long as she was still present in this time. We have a message she left for the two of you. Let me send it to you now.
Kana knew from the start that she was causing an entanglement. I'm sorry. I know this hits the two of you harder than anyone else, and I'm here crying. Oh. <sighs> Wakana wasn't from this time period, so her situation was different than yours. Hey, um, don't be so down. I'm not saying that because I'm worried about you. I said that because it affects platoon morale. Hey, um, don't be so down. I know she would have wanted to talk to the both of you some more, but she thought spending more time with you would only make things more painful. Apparently, the entanglement will unravel when Wakana returns to the past, and dies like she did in history. The uneasy feeling I had when we unraveled the entanglements 11 years ago was because Mother's entanglement still remained. She held back her feelings so she could part with you with no regrets. She's a great person. That's strange. Wakana has returned, so how come it didn't disappear? Have all the entanglements truly been unraveled? All the entanglements we felt we unraveled. The ones 11 years ago, 50 years in the future, and the one during Yakumo Sumeragi's time period. What? What does Yakumo Sumeragi's time period have to do with anything? I think one formed when we witnessed Yakumo's assassination. What are you talking about? Yakumo was severely injured in an accident, but he wasn't assassinated. We don't really understand it either, but we saw Yakumo Sumeragi being killed by Karin. What did you say? We were busy dealing with the entanglement, but yeah. There's no doubt in my mind that that was former Major General Karin. He copied Kasane's power. Yuito, if he also copied your power. But he didn't copy my... He could have time-traveled by resonating Kasane's power with mine. So it hasn't disappeared because of the entanglement Karin created when he traveled back to Yakumo's time period? But the two of you couldn't find an entanglement. How do you expect to unravel something you can't find? Karin can unravel his own entanglement. Yes, exactly. The only thing we can do is take Karin to the Kronos Terminal and have him unravel the entanglement himself. Wataru, can you check Karin's location? I figured you'd ask, so I've been working on it. But I've got nothing. I can't find him at all. It's like he's disappeared. Supposing that he's traveled to Yakumo's time period, that would mean he's in the past. That's where you're going to find him. Are you too sure the people you saw were really Karin and Yakumo? We're sure. We could see their faces clearly. Actually, we only saw Karin's face. But that was Yakumo. I mean, he had the same mask on as all the depictions of him. Ah, uh, yes, that's it, the mask. That explains everything! Kagura, explain. Whoa, Sugumi, calm down. So, you know how Yakumo started wearing the mask because of the injuries he sustained? Rumor was, sometime after the accident, he suddenly stopped appearing in front of people and his whole personality just changed. Whole personality changed? You're not suggesting... The real Yakumo was assassinated by Karin from the future, and Karin took his place by putting on the mask? It doesn't matter. Either way, we still need to travel back to 2,000 years ago to check. Actually... No. 
We might not have to travel at all. You all saw my brother's video, right? Don't you remember what he said? Yakumo Sumeragi is alive! What are you... He is asleep. Deep beneath Suo. Even now, he is waiting for his revenge! Right. Cold sleep. Just like Kagero. If Yakumo is in cold sleep under Suo, then we can find out the truth by meeting him directly. If former Major General Karin replaced him, then he'll be the one down there in cold sleep. I'm not entirely certain as to why he did what he did. But we can talk to him and have him help us unravel the entanglement. Do we know where he's sleeping, though? I mean, Arahabaki is the only area I can think of that's under Suo. I mean, Sumeraki Tomb is the first place I thought of where Yakumo would be. Do you think he would really be in such a heavily trafficked place, though? How about it, Yuito? It's your family's tomb. Yeah, that makes sense. But I've never even been inside the building before. The head of the family is responsible for watching over Sumeragi tomb. I might be able to find something out if I talk to my brother. The chief! Do you think he'll listen to us? Actually... I've been trying to reach my brother's terminal, but I'm not getting through. There's a chance he might have blocked me. Wataru, can you ask Major General Fubuki to talk to my brother? I doubt he'd refuse a call from a Major General. Okay, leave it to me. I just don't know how soon I'll get a response. Wanna see when I stop by our hideout then? I'm sure Yuito and Kasane could use the rest. Good idea. It would be smart to rest while we can. Thanks, Gemma. All right, let's head back. Welcome back. I messaged Major General Fubuki. He said it might take some time to get in touch with the Chief. Thanks, Wataru. I also asked about Major General Karin, but apparently Major General Fubuki doesn't know anything either. I see. Then I guess he really is in the past. We don't have any other leads at the moment, so let's hope he's in Sumeragi tomb. Okay, that's gonna um... I don't think I've spoken to Hanabi lately. That's gonna be where I leave uh, part 12, phase 11 of Skull Nexus. Hope you guys are enjoyed. See you next time.